Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on Elm Creek with Grower Games. Well, last month we ended up having quite a busy month. We had to get a lot of our seeds sown, so we got all our canola sown finally. And I was checking this morning and the little bit of canola we put into the oil production plant already is already go already almost all done here. Um the few things I want to get done today is we're not gonna be doing any contract work. This might be another like two-month episode thing, because I want to get the wheat in. We got field 52. We're going to be expanding here, too. Oh, let's see here. Get this off here. So we're going to be working on expanding 50, field 52 today. And when we get that expand, we're going to have to go out there and get it all relimed and such. But one of the first things I want to get done here is that our spinnery has been sitting empty for for about a month now. So we gotta, we're going to get all the wool here loaded up and ready to go. And hauled out over there. Probably honestly should have had it hauled out there for a while ago. If, now that I think about it. But just been busy with all a bunch of other things that we can't really do that. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So we're going to get get all this stuff loaded up here quickly. And like I said, this might actually be another two month episode. Just because we have a, quite a few things we got to do. Like we got, we're going to go out to that field and... We're gonna expand it and oh, come on. There we go. Oh, it doesn't really. There we go. But as I was saying, we're gonna get field 52 expanded, and I, I want to get us some winter, winter barley sown, sown down, so that way we can we have the feed for the chickens yet. Because I think what we're gonna end up doing is that. Field 50, we're going to replant that into sunflowers again next season. And we're going to re we're going to put uh what's the other field? Uh 51 into sunflowers as well, well. So that way we'll rotate at least one of those fields. I know I've been trying to keep rotation on the farm just so we can avoid pest problems and such, but just with the way things are going for us right now, it's going to be I think we're gonna have to at least re-sow re one of the fields into sunflowers just so we can... That way we can just keep everything on a normal rotation. I might even sow this field up here into sunflowers again too. I haven't really decided yet. Or maybe... Maybe I'll just... Actually that might be a better idea. I'm starting to change my mind now. Maybe we'll just wait till next after next month we'll sow... That bigger field, that smaller field up here into winter barley, just because we don't, we don't seem to need as much right now. These eggs thrown up here. I haven't checked egg prices in a while either. Now that I think about it, but we're gonna, I think we're gonna end up so, so in that field into so, into, sorry, a little distracted here. I think instead now that I think about it. We're going to sow that sunflower into winter barley. And we'll... Oh. And we'll sow the other fields into sunflower. And we'll turn the... Turn that field we'll be expanding into a sunflower field next year. But I still want to get out there and get everything. Get get the field expanded. Get it limed today. We also got fertilizing that we need to do today as well. Fertilizing and uh, weed control for us for our canola we planted. So we we got quite a few things going on for us today already, and uh, it doesn't seem like we have enough time. I don't think we'll have enough time today to get everything covered because next month we'll be we'll be working on a sunflower harvest. And I already looked at the contracts this morning, and there really wasn't out there much for contracts for us to grab up to make a little extra cash this month. So I think. I think right now, focusing on getting all our own tasks done this month is probably going to be the best route for us, so to speak. So that way we can get everything knocked out and such. A little bit wider than I need to be, that's fine though. But we gotta get this wool in here, because we... We've left this empty for a little bit longer than I wanted to, but... With me sell, selling some of our wool off and then sh rotating sheep out and such, I think it's kind of slowed down our wool production a little bit. 
and which is kind of why we might have we might have fallen a little bit behind. So next next season when we start selling next year when we start selling fabric again in the spring, we probably won't have. Well, we probably won't be making as nearly as much as we were, so to speak, just because we went a month or two without getting a, without having any, any production going on, so to speak. But I think, I'll have to, when we get back to the yard here, I think we'll have to look into, um, okay. I was trying to figure out why that person just randomly stopped in the middle of the road like that. But when we get back to the farm, we'll we'll get our tillage equipment, the plow we'll need to do the expansion on the field. I think I'm going to work on that first today and get that going. And then when we get that that done, we'll we'll worry about getting out and get everything sprayed in all the in the, all the canola fields and getting the canola top topped off with fertilizer as well. But I think that's what we got planned for today's episode. I, like I said, I'm not sure if it's going to turn into a two-month episode yet. It's it's a little early to tell yet, but I feel like we got enough tasks that it's going to keep us busy enough that I might have to stretch this this month into two episodes. But let's see here. Um, nothing worthwhile in the fuse market. So let's see here. How much does it cost to lease that? $867? 408 So I think we'll just... We'll go with this ripper here. We'll lease that. And I th think... I can't remember if there's any stones out there. I'll tell... We'll, we'll actually drive out back there quick here to see if we need to rent a rock pick, stone picker as well to get rid of all the stones. Otherwise, I'll be bugged by it the whole time. Let's drive on back this way here and check it out. I'll have to get that. I'll have to get the platform washed off too. But as you can see, the canola's already growing at a pretty good rate here. We'll just have to get rid of all those weeds though at some point. So what I'm thinking for expansion wise. Oh yeah, there's definitely some rocks out here, so we'll have to rent a rock picker at some point too. I'm kind of thinking right now, I think we're going to end up going along here. I think I'm going to leave these trees. Yeah, I'm going to leave the trees in for now. I'll just go along here and then go down towards where this this drainage, drainage outlet is in and we'll probably expand a little bit further along the edge here. And I think we're just... I think we're just going to follow this straight edge right here, so... I think that's the plan for right now of how I'm planning to do this field expansion, but... We'll finally jump into the time lapse here, and we'll see you guys in a bit.
inside your chest that calls on you to cry. You decided it was time for him to fly. Out of the darkness and into the light. Higher and higher, out of sight. A whisper inside your heart. Tells you let go Time to leave the past You did what you knew Slow down and rest You've been through a war No one can hurt you anymore Behind closed eyes Memories unfold There's a song inside your soul waiting to be heard. Sing it aloud, you've written every word. Oh, out of the silence and into the unknown. Louder and louder, let go. All right, everyone, this is we're going to be wrapping up today's episode. It did not take as long as I thought it was going to take us to get everything done. Um, I guess with us, with me changing of where we're going to put our winter barley this year, kind of cha- kind of shortened this episode down quite a bit as well, because I was planning to get that field 52 planted today with all in winter barley, but I think it's going to be best for us to leave that for the sunflowers next season. That way we can keep our oil production factory going pretty strong, especially since when you think about it, we're going to have all this canola that we just finished taking care of here for next season. And we're going to, we're just going to have so much. Oh, we're just going to have so much pro by raw product to be putting into that plant itself. So that will, I'm hoping that's going to start paying off for us really well. I don't think it's going to pay off as well as the, 
the spinner he has, but I think it's going to help quite a bit. The one thing I did not know is how much nitrogen cano canola actually took. Because I didn't think we were going to burn through that 3,000 liters of fertilizer that I bought, but we're pretty much all completely out again as well on fertilizer, so... But when we come back, we'll be in the next month. I think we'll be actually getting ready to do a sun to the sunflower harvest. Um, that's one thing I never checked either, and I said I was going to was the egg prices. So here we'll check that here before we officially close down the episode. And then I also want to move this back inside so that way it's not just sitting there the whole time. Oop. And I'll worry about cleaning off the header, the head header, the platform later. But let's see here. No, actually, what's on the used market? Nothing worthwhile for us, unfortunately. Um, Orgum's still going up yet, which is good. Oh, uh, where? Eggs. Well, eggs are not quite there yet. We got a little ways to go. Um, the one thing I should check is canola and sunflower oil. No, we're starting to get up there. Sunflower. We're starting to work that way up there too, so. But yeah, when we come back next month, I'm pretty sure our sunflowers will be ready to go, so we'll be knocking those out. Getting all that taken care of. And we're gonna... We'll be, dr we'll be drilling next month as well. We'll be hooking up the cedar here, and we'll be getting our winter barley in over here. Actually, since I know we'll be getting there to that point we're gonna oh I also left the beacons on the, the new Holland I better go fix that as well before we kill the battery and that but we'll just hook this up and get it out of the way as well for now so yard's starting to come pretty tight here um I think it'll be fine right here for now yeah but we'll just leave that leave the trailer here for now but like I said, this is where we'll wrap up today's episode. Episode, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.